In this episode, the Mythbusters are going far beyond their comfort zones. Did I tell you I was afraid of heights? Could you survive falling 200 feet into water by throwing a hammer in first? <laughs> and multiple myths for soft drinks. Does cola have miraculous power? Your side sucks. You might bust a myth from the other side if you could survive the burial. It's, uh, I can feel it coming in. Roger that. We're going to get you out. Who are the Mythbusters? Is my missing an eyebrow? Adam Savage. I always enjoyed seeing Adam in pain. Oh! And Jamie Heineman. Jamie wants a big boom. More than 30 years special effects experience. Feel kind of sexy. They don't just Ooh. tell the myths, they put them to the test. America's favorite drink has always attracted its own share of popular myths. Some of them true, most of them baloney, but all of them challenges for the Mythbusters. Jamie, how many things can we do with cola? Lots. We can clean up blood. You can dissolve a T-bone steak. You can clean chrome. Clean the corroded contacts on your battery. You can free a rusted bolt. You can clean your greasy laundry. Car paint work. Dissolve a tooth. You can clean your car engine. And? It also might be an effective spermicide. This should be fun. Some of these sound actually like they're pretty reasonable to me. And some of them just sound absolutely ridiculous. So it would seem. Next myth. Could cola be an effective spermicide? They will combine one small sample of sperm with cola and another sample with a control substance. Under the microscope, they will estimate the score between alive and dead. Let's try the cola. OK. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. I mean, this is really exciting. This is like those films in high school. Maybe they like the caffeine. What Whoa. do you think? That's amazing. What are we going to use for our control? Well, I have some saline solution here. Oh. Um, I think that ought to be kind of easy on the sperm. OK. There we go. OK, two drops of saline. There it is. Certainly look very lively to me. Yeah, they look great. And three, two, one, count. For 60 seconds, Jamie will count live sperm in the saline. And stop, we're done. How many live ones did you see? 53. 53 live ones in a minute. OK. And go. And now a 60-second cola count. And stop. 85. No way. No. 85. This is an occasion when Jamie and Adam bow to superior knowledge. Dr. Paul Turek is a male reproductive specialist at UCSF. He's heard hundreds of similar claims. I think it's a great myth. To summarize, I think the experiment kind of shows what I thought would happen, which is cola will serve as a diluent. It will dilute the sperm, but it won't be necessarily toxic to it. And a spermicide is different. A spermicide actually stays in there, so it doesn't really dilute anything. It just kills the sperm on contact. Three, two, one, and done. 96. 96. Clearly, cola is not an effective spermicide. It's just not. Well, so I'd say this myth is busted, too. Absolutely. Cola's going down. 